Hey guys, what is going on? This is Larknock1 slash Addict, and welcome back to part 3 of my Let's Play Civilization Beyond Earth series. Um, in this part, well, where we set off last time, I suppose, we had two colonists on our way out to where we want to put them, and we're having a worker build faux roads. I accidentally built a road, so that was a mistake. Um, at any rate, let's just keep on going with this. We're going to be able to pick up our expedition module here with our scout. Sorry about that. And, or our explorer, I guess. He should be fine. Eight turns, he has 90 health. We want to settle down right here. So within the perimeter here, we've got some extra food. We've got um, two fruit, really. We've got the fiber. Uh, we've got two solid hills. Hills are very good. Um, and then plains aren't horrible. Um, Desert's pretty bad, all things considered, if it's not next to a river. Next to a river, desert can be one of the best tiles in the game. Um, so let's just found our first city. Alright, so we got our first soldier. That's good. We can actually go down, start to train him. And where do we want to put this guy? I'm thinking over by the oil. Um, this wouldn't be a horrible, horrible spot right here. Because it has access to some of the petroleum. Has access to some fruit. It's not pushing too far to restrict my city growth, because I want to put as many cities as I can. Um, I suppose we could also settle on the tundra next to the hill. That'll give us a little more access to production with the hill. And that's not half bad. Then again, um, this is a great spot still, because you still have the fruit. You have access to two petroleum if you need it. Um, and you still have access to the hill. So you know what? I'm going to settle there. <laughs> Looks good. I want to be a little safe, though. Make sure... Oh, actually, a... the alien wolf beetle, I think, could kill us. So it was not the smartest decision there. Hopefully he doesn't. I don't think we've given these wolf beetles that much reason to attack us. But we did just enable them to do something, so... Not the smartest move. Let's get working on this resolin. It'll be a decent tile after that. One food, two production, one energy one science. And we've got another quest here. Alright, so this is the clinic quest. So the choice here is really between 15 HP for your cities that have clinics, or one health. One health is just far and away better. It gives you a nice two health building. Um, it's going to keep us afloat with health as things get a little messy. And let's just keep on going. Alright, so luckily the aliens did not actually attack us here. Let's just escort our colonist for good measure. And we'll begin with this road. So we've actually built a, something that looks like that. I'm not entirely certain. Um, with the worker already. So only we'll, we'll only need one turn for the worker to pretty much complete each one of these t road tiles. Alright, so the next virtue we're going to pick up is survivalism. And this is going to trigger our kicker. And we're going to be able to pick up scavenging immediately. So we are... How many turns away? 25 turns away or less from Adaptive Sciences, which is really the goal here. Because Adaptive Sciences is so good. Alright, so thankfully our worker over here is not getting attacked. And we can bring our colonist into where we want to settle. Right there. Let's... He doesn't really need more esc my escort anymore. Alright. Oops, keep clicking out because of Skype. This looks good! We have two cities settled by 60, turn 64. This is actually quite good. And we can just keep on bombarding these aliens. It caused me so many issues. Oops, I built it on the road. I'd do that. Alright, so... I already built a road here. Yes, I actually already have. So what we might want to do is start building a road there next turn. Now we can just move on to that tile from here, and we won't, we won't put our worker in danger, just in case the wolf beetle gets a little frisky. Robots do not complain, question, or rest, which makes them good role models for the rest of you. Alright, so again, we picked up robotics because it's a particularly good tech for supremacy. You get your Fraxite mines out early. You get an auto plant, which is one of the best buildings in the game, and the tack jets are one of the best defensive buildings in the game. Uh, units, sorry. Um, thing is about the tack jets, we're not going 
to need it particularly much. Now, that wolf beetle is actually threatening our trade convoy right now. Um, so that's not that good. And the wolf beetle is also threatening this worker. So let's just pull this worker up here. Just for the turn. We got another quest. So this is the lab quest. So it's very obvious to me that one science is just superior to an additional expedition module this late into the game. Um, yeah, not much else to say. Especially because we're supremacy. Once we hit level 1, we'll, all, we'll already have an extra expedition on all of our explorers. Alright, so let's just pick that up. And our science is now at 17 per turn. Alright, so we got robotics. Now, the question is, do we want to spend 14 turns picking up power systems, which will easily get us to level 1, or um, it's not going to particularly boost any of our yields, though. Uh, we don't have that, we don't have anything under a quarry right now, or do we? Do we have basalt in this capital? Um, no, we, got, we don't have any basalt there. We do have some out here, uh, but again, it's not going to be that important. Quarries tend to be one of the, mm, on the worst end of things in the game. Um, Geothermal wells aren't too, too good, unless you have a lot of them, in which case it can be quite a quite good energy producer for purity. Um, really here, our choices are between bionics. Sorry, not bionics. Well, we could go bionics, actually. It's 43 turns away, though, which is quite a distance. So physics is really what I'm looking at right now, because it's only five turns away. And that'll allow us to build an observatory once we get our Fraxent mines up. Now that will take a short while, so I'm actually thinking that computing might be the safer choice right now. Especially because it's very important to get the network up earlier, um, and this is particularly good for supremacy because you do have to go this path anyways with autonomous systems. So that's what I'm going to go with. We're going to go with computing right now. The network is very good. It doesn't have any prereqs like for Axite, and let's just keep on going. Wolf Beetle is being very troublesome. Did aliens eat my trade route? Okay, no. Thankfully, the trade route is actually moving down right now. So let's start getting this soldier a little bit of experience. Gutting down those Wolf Beetles. Now, we have him in our zone of control, so we can actually move within a normal kill zone. These aliens just do not learn. Just launching rockets on rockets on rockets. So I could try to improve the patrolling right now. Um, the fear is we're pushing a little too close to that wolf beetle. So instead, I'm thinking we're going to want to get our workers out there to help start improving things like the fruits. Yeah, pretty much both of these fruits I'd like to have improved. In fact, I don't really need to be working too much on these roads because our, uh, our workers are already so good that they're completing them in two turns. We got a veterancy on our soldier here. Let's give him the discipline and send him into the outpost to heal up. And we can have this guy start cutting down the forest and making way. So we got our next colonist. So really the question is where do we want to put this? So we could put an advanced forward settlement and really secure our position. Or we could go over here and take this wonderful spot. Um, I'm definitely going to take this spot eventually. But I think I want to secure a forward first. So I'm thinking that a spot maybe up here or something would be particularly good. Uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to go with. And hopefully our soldier will be able to escort us there. So, um, we could either go with the auto plant or keep building colonists. Now, I really, really do prioritize colonists, so we're going to go with the colonist. The auto plant, as good as it is, is not as good as getting a another city out seven, eight, nine turns earlier. Alright, so this is going to take a while, a decent time, but it will up the production of this tile to 3, and that's critical for getting city growth going. Because the way that food growth works is that each citizen actually consumes two food. The capital tends to produce, or the city center, not before the city settles, um, but the city center will always produce like two or three food. So it's basically a free citizen, and the goal there is to get your total food positive. So, for example, if you have three citizens working two food tiles, and the capital producing three, each citizen eats two food, so the net total food uh, per turn is three, uh, which is just the capital yield. Now, what's good about getting food tiles above two is that you start to increase your positive yield, and that is very important. So, let us get our worker up there to help improve that fruit. 
And our trade convoy finished. So Jinsoku Labs is now producing even more production and even more science, which is fantastic. Now we could go for another trade route, actually, to help uh, speed these guys up. But honestly, I think the colonists are just a little more important right now. So we just got um, a little bit of preliminary research into artificial intelligence. And that's going to start Solid State Citizen, I believe. Alright, so here we are. So I'm actually going to read this one, because I actually lo love the affinity quests in this game. So there were survivors aboard the spacecraft. They were once human, and now they're something different. We're calling them the Augmented. Like us, they settled a new planet. But where our world sustains life, their world was harsh and violent. They tried to adapt by incorporating technology in their flesh. But in the end, even technology would not let them thrive in their new home. The Augmented wished to live on our world. Shall we grant them refuge in our cities, or shall we let them fend for themselves on this new world? So we're actually going to grant them refuge here, because we're playing Supremacy. And all we actually have to do to trigger the next part of the quest is settle a colonist. And we already have one on route. So this is good. So before... Ooh, Jinsoku Labs took a little bit of damage. Usually that's an AI that just doesn't want us to succeed. It's a good sign. No, it's not a good sign, but that's a, it's a good indicator. Sorry. Alright, so we want to get our explorer back home. Get him healing in Tianyang. So next turn. I actually forgot to start my timer for this episode, so we're just going to start one a little late. Let's go... Let me make an estimate. Alright. Mm, let's do like a 13 minute timer. Alright. There we are. Okay, so we want to get our soldier up there. I'm going to have my colonists just chill, because we did see a wolf beetle up there. That's a little too dangerous. And get another plantation going. So soon I'm going to want to start spamming a few workers. Our workers are the best in the game right now. Um, but you just can't hurt having too many workers. One of the other things we definitely want to do eventually is get um, some rangers out. Because the rangers will definitely help us do a lot of preliminary damage. Um, expand out towards these areas. Get this crash satellite. Basically a lot of things. Um, so it looks like there's another alien nest down here. I mean... Certainly there is, given the number of aliens we've been killing. So we want to move out now. Uh, actually, let's take one more turn to heal. Because our soldier is slightly damaged. So he healed 20 in the capital. Oh, it's not a city yet, so it's just friendly territory. Escorting. And we get another colonist in one turn. I'm going to send him up here. Um, I don't think we need an escort for that one. And as soon as Kuyin finishes, we're going to just work on our road and make sure it finishes. So now we have an explorer here. Um, we could try to go up and around, or we could actually... Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's just um, help our colonist get to where he needs to be. And this colonist, we said we wanted to put him around here. Um, the rivers are great. River desert hills are fantastic. Um, and we don't know what's quite up there, so let's just head on out. Alright, some, some basalt, a siege worm, that's not too good. And we finished another colonist. So I'm thinking there's still one solid spot for a colonist, even if we place a city here. Probably up there. So let's get another colonist out. This is what I mean about spamming a lot, a lot of colonists. I want to get as many as I can out as fast as I can. Right, let's get a little bit, ooh, siege worm is right there. Good thing we didn't move two tiles. Don't ever want to end a turn next to a siege worm. So, there's nothing wrong with mo uh, keep staying two tiles away from siege worms, because they can only move one tile, like the manticore. But you never want to end a turn next to one. Alright, so let's actually finish our road now. Because Kuyin's about to finish, and we want to get our energy bonus. Hopefully the siege worm moves. Alright, Kia Gun Gun landed. Where is it? It's out here. This is actually not a bad spot. We can't trade with it, unfortunately. There's there's a miasma wall. Well, I guess we could go through the xenomass. Um, it's a bit dangerous right now. I, I'd kind of wait for a closer city or... What do you call it? Or um, the ultrasonic fence. So let's end our turn on that hill there and get some good vision. And we might settle there. That's actually a pretty good spot. We're on... Oh, I don't want to end the... T I, I don't want to settle on the desert hill river, because that's a particularly good tile, um, so I want to use it for something. I want to be able to, you know, get
get yield out of it. So let's keep our colonist moving. And we can now start finishing these roads. Boom, boom. Okay. Reggie de declared war on Vadim Kozlov. So they're going to be fighting a brutal battle out there. Meanwhile, we're just going to be soaking up the sun. Enjoying resources. This is a good distance away. One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, I suppose we could settle on the forest. Especially because forests are kind of annoying and they're good to get rid of. So let's walk through there. Oh, wow. More Xenomass. It's going to be a very valuable city to any Harmony player. But we are not playing Harmony, so... It is a good thing we have an Escort Explorer. Because that looks... Ooh. Why are there so many aliens up there? That is curious. Right, there's already a road there. Finish our road here. And I'm just exterminating aliens with these rockets. <coughs> well, that's sketchy. It is a good thing we brought ourselves a thing. I hope they don't attack us. I, we're not next to a nest. We're not threatening anything. Let's just pull back. And we can actually... I guess we could finish our road while we're, while we're at it. So the question is, did we build the road here preliminarily or there? I don't remember. Let's see. It looks like we built it here. Alright, good call. And we are all done. Connecting Kuyan. Just like that. That is how you micro. And let's set up the next city. Boom, there we go. Let's try to get our soldier home now. It's quite a few siege worms. Where's our trader at? Alright, still alive and well. So, we've settled our next city, and now we get to choose... What, basically, this is the next step in Solid State Citizen. The Augmented have integrated into our culture, sharing their knowledge of organ replacement and artificial limbs. Our society stands at a crossroads. Do we continue their research and application of augmentation, or do we seek to restore the Augmented to their lost organic humanity? We continue research. Alright, so one more part to the quest now. It used to end there. Build one auto plant. That's sweet, because I'm going to build that as soon as I can, because that building is fantastic. Alright, here. So, new cities. The question in new cities is, should you build the Vivarium first or the Trade Depot first? Never build the Recycler first, because again, the Trade Depot is going to allow you to start running um, trade routes out of the city to smaller ones to get it, you know, really pumping. And also, the Recycler is just a more expensive version of the Trade Depot, as far as production is concerned. Um, because they're both two, once you've quested the Trade Depot up there. So, in this case, I think we're fine with food because we do have the plantation there. So we're getting, yeah, total six food. So let's go with the Trade Depot. I typically would go with the Trade Depots. They're pretty safe. Alright, so really what I want to do is get my soldier home safe. Okay, we can't end a turn next to a Siege Worm. <laughs> we're stuck there. Hopefully they don't, like, get me closed in. That would be horrible. And let's build these roads. Those aliens are not doing me any comfort, are they? Alright. I want to settle there. That's a fantastic spot. Alright, so who Tom is asking for us to go to war. Again, I just, I don't do wars. Not this early. My apologies. Wink, wink. No, we don't care. Right, so the siege room did move a little closer. Let's pull out this way. And I believe we can get into position to settle. Next turn. Sweet. So that's what a good... What are they called? Convoy, convoy protection, I suppose, with the Explorer. That is what that's useful for. And Init 10 should be finishing soon, and we'll get our energy bonus. There we go. Init 10 finished, and it is connected now. So that's how you optimally do roads. Um, you don't want to build them a little too early, because it really hurts your ability to build colonists, or buy a colonist. So we want to get him up probably there. Um, that looks like a very good spot. Yeah, looks pretty good. So we'll, we'll move him slowly, though. All right. 
Our soldier can finally come home. Yay. And we can settle this guy. That brings us to one, two, three, four, five, and hopefully six cities. And we'll sit there for a little bit. Six cities is, uh, is a good spot to be. So, we finished our road here. And... We can... Minute 10 is not going to be in the best place until we have our ability to build biowells. So we should really prioritize that soon. Um, we're going to build an auto plant now. We could go with extra workers. Um, we will need them. But hmm, that's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, that actually sounds like a very good idea. Two workers, two more workers. Um, will help out a bit. The problem I'm having is that I, I can't really move I could transport them slowly with the with the explorer out there because um, that is a very good spot and I really want to have these tiles worked this city won't have troubles with food pretty much every other city that I founded except maybe Ganzerig um, will have troubles with food and that's why we need to get bio wells so I could build a generator here I do plan on having a bit of some generator stuff going on um, it's kind of a waste though there's better things to do right now. Like, we could be improving Kuyin. Um, and also, that puts us in the danger of the wolf beetles. So, let's actually not do that. Alright, so again, here, I'm pretty sure the safest choice is the trade depot. Or we could go with the vivarium because we don't actually plan on having Minute 10 have that much food, considering that it's kind of a waste of time to build farms on any of these tiles. Um, we could go with the vivarium. I guess we'll just go Trade Depot Vivarium. That's a bit more safe, and the production will help. Let's get our soldier home. Okay, so we can build a hill now, or a farm. I'm thinking we go with a farm, just because I don't want the growth to completely stall out at two. And let's get this guy as far north as we can get him this turn. So we'll actually escort him north with our soldier here. And let's just try to get this guy back. Safe and sound. There's a lot of aliens there. Alright. Um, and these aren't the best conditions. We could really use a soldier or something to help us improve the petroleum and the phyraxite. That'd be very good. And we get our science up that way too. So, I'm thinking, right now though, we just want to improve Kuyan, because we can. Maybe we'll start building roads out towards Ganzerig. The siege rooms will be a trouble. Hassle. And we're not making too much energy per turn. So you know what? It's actually... I love computers because they automate the tedious stuff and give us more time for important things like market manipulation. There we go. We have access to the network now. So, instead of finishing that worker... Let's, we, well, we will finish it, because we're only one turn away. But let's actually build something for a little bit of home defense. Um, let's go with a soldier. That'll help us start to improve tiles in the capital. Those ones that are a little too close to aliens for comfort. So Siege Room's right there. That's kind of bad. Um, oh, well. Unit 10 will continue to bombard. I'd love to have... A little bit of protection. Near, you know, we do have to finish that fruit for Ninotin to be capable of growing at all. Let's just... Um, that siege room is way too close for comfort. Let's heal up. I'm sure we could heal up in the capital. Or not the capital, but Kuyan. Move the colonists there. And we'll just wait for the guy to be fully healed. And then we'll try to move up north. Alright, so... Food is going to be a huge issue in this game. So, I'm thinking that we go... Bionics as soon as we can, because we really, really need the bio wells up. But physics is kind of critical, and it's only going to take five turns. So we're going to grab physics, and then hopefully bionics immediately. Food is going to be an issue. Right, sorry, we just don't do war right now. We're just trying to grow. That's it. <laughs> just want to grow a little bit, man. All right, that's going to be the time mark. And uh, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you next time in this Civilization Beyond Earth Let's Play. Take care.